Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part two video on uh, KSET Life Science uh, question paper uh, from 2020. Uh, and these are the direct questions which I have collected from this paper. Okay, now I don't waste my time. I will just directly go to the questions. The first question, FISH technique is used for the localization of dash on a chromosome. So, this is the technique of this chapter. This is the technique of this chapter. This is the technique of FISH. And the full form of FISH is that it is a F means fluorescence in suit hybridization. Actually, this technique is used for locating a specific DNA sequence. And then this technique is used to identify the genetic diseases and also to identify the novel oncogenes. Oncogenes are nothing but the cancer cells. Okay. So, so this technique is used for all those things so the question is what they are asking they used for the localization of dash on a chromosome so uh, they are asking on a chromosome um, to locate which which one they are going to locate on a chromosome so the options are like this a protein uh, b gene c enzymes uh, d haplotype i guess you know what are proteins right it's a sequence of amino acids okay uh, and you also know what are enzymes right then genes uh, you know it is a uh, hereditary in it and then haplotypes uh, haplotypes is nothing but uh, these are also a group of genes uh, within uh, within an organism that was inherited to gather uh, from a single parent okay that is called as haplotype haplotype this uh, this word is actually derived from the word haploid i guess you know uh, the word haploid right so for this and they are uh, as they are asking on a chromosome so and i already told the what is the, what is the use of this technique so uh, first point that uh, what i told is locating the specific dna sequence i said so gene is nothing but the um, dna sequence right that's why the answer b is the correct answer next moving on to the second one uh, existence of two or more genotypes for a given trait in a population is called okay option a pleiotrophism option b mono monomorphism option c mutualism option d polymorphism so so they are asking existence of two or more genotypes for a a given trait okay so here the genotypes are many okay and uh, for a single a means single for a single trait for a single character you can say okay in a population they are asking and option A, what they are saying, what they have given, pleiotrophism. What is pleiotrophism? Here, uh, pleiotrophism is nothing but expression of multiple traits by a single gene. Okay? Multiple traits by a single gene. And monomorphism means, mono means single. Morphism means different uh, types. Okay? And mutualism, as usual, you guys might know mutualism, nothing but it has another name that is called as symbiosis. Here, the mutualism is nothing but it is an interaction between two organisms of different species where both the um, partners are benefited uh, uh, with none of them or not, uh, none of them, uh, of them, or me, I, I mean to say two are incapable of living separately, okay? Means none of... Uh, uh, they have uh, dependent on each other okay that is actually called as mutualism then next one is polymorphism poly means many morphism is different uh, uh, trait morphism means a uh, trait right so here as they are uh, as they are asking two or more so these two are not these two are not correct answers right as i uh, given the definitions here so we have the confusion between these two but here it is mono means single but here they are asking two or more genotypes so that's why poly means many so that's why the answer is answer d is the correct answer next moving on to the third one which of the following statement about k selected species is false option a minimal parental care option b fewer offsprings option c large uh, large body size option d long life expectancy answer see this uh, about k selected species and r selected spe species have made an uh, video uh, uh, and it is very simple and uh, uh, very easy please go through the uh, video so that uh, you can answer these questions and and i have been observed in many uh, from many years uh, there will be a definitely one question from a k selected or r selected species okay and answer for this uh, they are asking as uh, asking for k selected species so uh, the option a is the correct answer 
next moving on to the next question a dash is an area that acts as a boundary or a transition between two ecosystem okay there will there will be a two ecosystem okay and that this boundary is going to act uh, is an area that acts as a boundary between a uh, two ecosystem in the thing this is an ecosystem a ecosystem b and what this boundary is called as they are asking okay the option a is eco line option b is eco tone option c is edge effect option d is ecological niche and answer for this is ecotone okay ecotone is the one uh, is an area that acts as a boundary or a transition transition between two ecosystems moving on to the next question biodiversity rich western ghats traverse through how many states in india option a 5 option b is 4 option c is 6 option d is 7 the correct answer for this is option c uh, so it traverses through the six states in india okay moving on to the sixth uh, question so the question is like this dash is the example of dead end phylum option a porifera option b nidiria option c anelida option d nematoda and um, they are uh, they are asking what is the example for dead end phylum so the uh, then uh, there is a uh, then what is the, what is the meaning of dead end phylum then dead end phylum means mm, uh, uh, end end means you know that it is going to stop so here what happens uh, in a evolution so uh, from one phylum to another phylum you can see there is a kind of transition or changes they are got evolved but there is a phylum which is uh, not given rise to uh, any other group of organisms means they are not uh, they are not given uh, derived from them okay there are in, there are no organisms derived from that phylum okay which is that phylum so that phylum is porifera okay so uh, they are not giving rise to any other group of organisms and in this case of porifera no cells is absent okay next moving on to the next question goblet cells are found in interspersed in the dash epithelial tissue and uh, okay the option is columnar epithelium tissue option b cuboidal option c squamous option d ciliated see uh, guys as you guys uh, can see in the diagram here so there is a picture of columnar uh, columnar epithelial tissue and cuboidal and squamous and then ciliated epithelial tissue right so in this diagram just you can see where are the goblet cells okay here the goblet cells are uh, uh, found in a uh, uh, in a columnar epithelial tissue okay you can see in the diagram you can find a cuboidal means round okay circular like that Squ squamous means like this long uh, square like ciliated means they have a cilia like that structure okay so these uh, goblet cells are Are present in columnar epithelial cells. Okay, that is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, which of the following organ regulates the ionic balance in man? Option A, liver. Option B, kidney. Option C, heart. Option D, pancreas. Okay, as uh, they are asking about the ionic balance uh, in man, so obviously the answer is option B, that is kidney. Next, moving on to the next question, the pituitary gland stimulates the adrenal glands to make cortisol. Okay, cortisol is increased during all of the following situation except what? Okay, option A, morning hours. Option B, stress. Option C, illness. Option D, night time. See, um, cortisol. It is a. Uh, it is nothing but a stress hormone. There are three st stress hormones: uh, adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol. And here, this uh, cortisol. Um, it is a stress hormone right okay so that's why option b you can eliminate okay and uh, they are asking except in which time it is not uh, increasing okay ya time alli adu increase aagalla anta kelta idare actually it is not going to uh, cortisol is uh, is increased during all of the following situation but not in the night time okay in during morning hours and during the illness time the stressness uh, will be more okay stress will be more that if stress is more then cortisol is going definitely going to release so in night time uh, so okay, uh, it might be because uh, resting time so the, um, there is no uh, much release of cortisol that is the answer then moving on to the 10th question ross sarcoma virus was first discovered in option a monkey option b rat option c rabbit option d chicken the correct answer for this is option d chicken okay so i'm hoping these questions are helpful for you and if you like this video please do share and subscribe thank you everyone